champion. Our tail of tape for this lightweight world championship fight. A 74.5 inch reach to 71. Quilly needs to keep him on the outside. Pitbull has to get on the inside to unleash that power. It is main event time. It is lightweight world title time. In an extraordinary atmosphere, it's Michael C. Williams time. Ladies and gentlemen. talked about that one of the many beautiful things about this main event and this title fight tonight is in a sport in which we all get carried away with the histrionics and I hate this guy and I hate that guy there is nothing but respect between these two between the Pitbull brothers even Patricio's reaction you saw Peter Creeley after the first fight say we'll watch it together and later that night Patricio went up to him and said you know what those weren't illegal elbows uh, absolutely that was what you saw from Patricky right there Queeley has such a high guard he needs to start going to the body he landed a very nice clean right hand to the body and he needs to go back to that attack that you just saw as often as he can Judges did see the first fight going Creeley's way. They were very, very close rounds. You know, they were close rounds, but if you're taking a look at the damaging shots overall, yes, Patricky had a head cut, but it was due to an elbow. It was a good elbow, but it wasn't those kind of elbows that were going to knock you out. It caused the cut. But when you look at all the leg kicks and all of the things that Patricky was landing, I actually had Patricky up, but Creeley was coming on. And so the question remains, who was going to actually win that fight if it wasn't stopped? Patrick, you're doing a great job of going to the body again. Just trying to lower that guard ever so much. Well, the one thing about Peter Queeley is, look, he has never been stopped in a fight. He is tough. He's durable. And when you know, he comes out to zombie, I don't like to say he's a 
zombie as far as a person, but as a fighter, he's one of those guys you got to take his head off to actually stop him. We talked about the body shots. We've been talking about it for a couple of weeks. You talked about it during the first fight, and look at the damage they've already done. You can see the redness, but you can also see Peter has landed a very good right hand on Patricky. Patricky believes that he hurt Peter in that exchange, but take a look at the left side of Patricky's face. It's looking red also, so there's some shots being landed. about the damage the leg kicks did and very open about the fact that he thinks that Patricky's going to come out and he just has to get through this first round and the longer the fight goes he's more and more comfortable I believe he's right in the fact that you know looking at the history of both guys he's the guy as the fight goes into later rounds he's the one that gets stronger while Patricky starts to slow down his progression his offense becomes less and less because he does get tired he's a fast twitch muscle fiber type athlete that's why he's got that power. No experience in the five round fights. That title fight with Michael Chandler ended in the first round. Now that fight against Chandler was something that, look, someone was going to go to sleep. It yep. just happened that Michael landed that shot first. Well placed, great win. But Queeley needs to just keep making Pitbull work. And the more that he can walk him down and push him backwards, don't let Pitbull come forward. If you can start to push him backwards, you know you're starting to affect him in the fight. And that Chandler fight was in St. Louis on David Rickles in Kansas, but there is no road game like this road game tonight. Combination. Very nice ending shot with the, the right hand to the body. Pitbull needs to stop bringing the shots as far as looping shots to the outside and start throwing those looping shots to the body and straight shots down the middle. Through one. Stop. Patricio has always used those effectively, the heavy leg kicks, whereas Patricky's knockouts have been explosive. They've been one-punch knockouts. You were in the cage for the Ryan Couture ones, oh. one of the scariest ones you've ever seen. Almost took his head off with that shot. He's got that type of power. Just what you just saw right there. He can explode at any moment, but he needs to be in a position to conserve that for the right moment. And this is the right thing by Peter Queeley. Start to back him up. If you see Queeley backing stop, Pitbull stop, up, stop, I hope. Remember, there was a low blow early in round one of the first fight. Stay right here for one moment, that okay? Came during the feeling out process. Right there. Patricky needs to just take his time here. Don't hurry himself back into the fight. Clear his eye out. Take the time that it needs so he can get his vision back because you have to be able to see to be able to fight well. How are you feeling? We've seen fights end this way. You see the uh, concern yeah. expression on Peter Queerly's okay. face. Do you feel like it's going to clear? It's a pretty good rake of that left I could eye. Have the doctor come in. Yes. Okay. Stay right there. What for Kevin me, McDonald right? is telling me, I'm going to try to give you time. You think doctor. if I give you time, your your doctor. eyes going to clear out? And Patricky was saying, yeah, he was starting to see two oh. Oh. images, but he's starting to, starting to clear up. Just give him some time, and that's what Kevin McDonald is doing. Doctor, right behind you. You can take a look. It's always the defensive action that tends to become that eye poke situation. A guy has someone coming in to attack him. They extend the arm to keep that range. And the That's what it is. It happens. Just chill out, man. <laughs> the tricky is trying to explain to the doctor what he is seeing or not seeing out of that eye. What are the options here, John? What's what's the checklist? Well, the big thing is there's not 
so much time that you can just stay forever. You've got a five minute period right now, and he's got to get this fight going okay. within that five minute period, which he's doing. Okay. So that it can continue. Okay. If it went past okay. the five minute period, the fight is over. There's nothing McDonald's. you can do. So right now, the doctor has said that he can compete. That means that Kevin McDonald's going to get that he can't do it. door closed. Well, he's bringing it back just to take the moisture off of his face and from okay, his eye. We're and we're going to get this fight Forward going again. You can see the redness. Nice job Forward by Kevin McDonald okay, to give him careful. time. Ready, time. I like when you see a referee right. give Ziggy. the fighter all the time that they can take right, general, so they can really clear that vision out. The stakes are too high. Really being very effective with his low leg kick. You see that thigh of Pitbull is starting to really start to swell up. He's got a lot of markings on it. That's his lead side. There's the leg kick. We're almost reminding Quealy to get it up in a oh! check position. A big shot by Richard yeah. Pitbull. He's Peter in trouble. Down. He's in some trouble. He's, He's in deep trouble. He's got a move. Patricky Pitbull. was a clean right hand that hurt Peter Queeley. You can see he is on just wobbly legs. He can't get himself under control. Pitbull is just attacking, going after him. And right here, when he's just starting to crank off with right hands and there's no movement and no exchange, referee Kevin McDonald stops the fight. Wheely was in real trouble. When you see someone falling down like that, trying to move, trying to get themselves up, and cannot, now no response, that's a good stoppage, that's a big win, and we have a new lightweight champion in Pitbull by the name of Patricky. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end, one minute, five seconds into round number two, the winner by knockout, and now the new worked a lifetime to be lifted those final six feet. The new world champion at long last <laughs> is with John McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the new lightweight champion, Patricky Pitbull. Patricky, that was a very technical fight. From the start, you can see that Peter Quilly had picked up on your leg kicks and he was looking to check and you started going to the body based upon the high guard. É, ele pegou os teus chutes e você aí começou a acertar o corpo dele. I do the exactly strategy my my team do because he think I will kick his leg again. So I just work my box to he think I will kick him. I can kick him anytime. But he, he think just about the kick. So I go to my hand, my power, stay calm. Everybody told me, just calm, relax, enjoy the fight. Take this great opportunity for fighting in Ireland in this beautiful country. So I stay here for, enjoy the, the place, enjoy the, the Guinness, the great Guinness. Yeah, let's go, let's go. I love it. So the, the history about the Vikings is great. So I want to look for some museums and a great a great a great churches. Churches. I want to thank the guys from Brazil. I promised a knockout. Thank you to all the Brazilians who came here. Let me ask you this. That was one of the most incredible walkouts that your opponent had. 
you had this entire crowd going crazy for their countrymen. What was it like for you standing in here watching that, listening to it? How much pressure did it put on you? It's normal for me. I fought, I fought for 10 years in different places, Japan, Canada, USA, uh, doesn't matter. I'm the warrior. I'm Brazilian. I really kill Brazilian. I'm the king of chaos. And now I am the champ. I want to thank my brother for giving me the opportunity for the fight. So now I am the champion and the king. Let's go. I want to tell you congratulations on being the new lightweight Bellator champion, ladies and gentlemen.